Looking at another pretty interesting one. This is a 22 Marlin. This is a new model of their Papoose. So let's take a look at it. First off, I'll notice, of course, it comes in this cool case. We've got its uh, manual and its uh, lock in there. And its cardboard box. Looking at the case, we've got a little spot there for ID. Of course, the name on it. It's got a pretty cool zipper with the D-ring, so you could lock this up if you wanted to. Just a little too big to have it on a tripod, so I'm doing it this way. So we open it up, and you can see that the papoose is a breakdown. It's sort of a camp gun, or a truck gun, or a fishing gun, or a camping gun, or whatever you want to call it. You see that it's got some Velcros to hold the receiver in stock there. If we go up here into the fold of the case, there's this long pocket, and that's where we're going to find its barrel. And this is the barrel chamber in the front and rear sights. Not in that order. Now I'm going to put it back on the tripod so we can use both hands here. So the Papoose is a 22 long rifle. Breakdown 22 comes in this case. Now it's got its mag in right away. There's its mag release underneath, 10 round magazine. So, taking a look at the gun itself, it's pretty standard stock. You wouldn't tell it from any other rifle. I think it's a 739 normally, if I remember my numbers right. So, you've got this fairly normal stock. The action's pretty normal. Where we see a big difference is we're in the chamber here, and of course, we got nothing. So, there's our bolt face and everything and we've got a, just a threaded spot there and a sling swivel so let's or a sling attachment point we'll uh, take a look at the barrel here then and there's its chamber we've got this nut that's going to come on and tighten it on you can see there's a flat there of course head space and everything is taken care of when you screw it together we've got our rear sight and our front sight I guess this is a good chance to take a look at that sight picture. That's what that sight picture is going to look like. Fairly accurate for a little 22. So now let's put it together. Let me just bring that nut sort of forward. The flat goes to the bottom. And of course it's a snug fit. It'll fit right in. And again, head space is just by getting that all the way to the end there. Start the nut. And in case it gets stuck, there are a couple of spots there to grab a wrench onto it, but you would basically just hand tighten it. And now it's just a 22. We've got a uh, bolt hold open there. And we're basically looking at a typical 22 rifle at this point, semi auto, magazine fed. Pretty unique looking, very lightweight, of course. Super solid. We'll have to do try to do a review with this in an AR7, which is uh, another style of breakdown survival rifle or camping rifle or hiking rifle or whatever you want to call this. Basically, the idea though is that you don't have to carry a full size rifle around. Uh, it breaks down into two pieces, and when you get out camping or hiking or wherever you're going, and you want to do some target shooting or hunting or whatever, you've got a uh, pretty decent little 22 rifle. In fact, in a lot of ways, you know, if you just wanted to buy one 22 rifle, uh, this one's going to stand up. Especially if you leave it screwed together, it's not going to get much wear and tear on this section, this, you know, this part. And uh, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference. This would just be like a very lightweight 22 rifle. So I just unscrew that. Again, of course, it's tight, but we're just pulling that barrel free from the receiver. And of course this one's brand new out of the box, so don't expect us to shoot everything we look at. But uh, we'll definitely try to give one of these a test fire to see how they are, but if they're anything like my AR-7, they're very accurate. And uh, great little rifles, of course Marlin makes good stuff. So this is the new Marlin Papoose. They're not gun rights. Guns don't have rights.
people have rights. He who frames the debate wins the argument.